G'day everyone, how's it going? This is Luminous from Tales of Malinxia. Welcome to our latest tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is all about how to get started in Malinxia once your application is accepted and you get a guest pass. Um, and also about what to do once you get citizenship. So um, we'll go, we'll cover two things there. So the first step is obviously to wait for your application to be processed. Um, if you don't know how to fill out an application, that was our last tutorial. I'll put up a link for it there. Um, so once you've filled out that application, you have to wait for an admin to go through it, just check it out and accept it. And you'll get an email um, telling you uh, that your application has been accepted and also giving you the IP address to get into the server. So now we're going to go in. Um, I've actually created a new character, a new account. So no one, no one knows I'm going in. They don't know who I am. They don't know I'm Luminous. So we'll, I'll show you genuinely what it's like to start off as a new, as a new player in Malenxia. So I've just blocked out the IP address there, of course, because that's only made available to people who are accepted uh, in the application process. And here we go. Uh, we're connecting. And the first place you start when you enter Malenxia is the spawn spot. Now this is in the city of Lithereal, which we showed you in our um, video about the video about um, quests, which is now outdated. We have to update that because there's some new systems. So here we go. These are the signs that will greet you. So this is just telling us that the customs office is over here. The customs office has a range of signs that give you a lot of the rules. Now it's really important that you read all of these because they do tell you some rules that um, are very important. And if you don't know them, uh, you might end up in jail. For example, we have a few uh, banned blocks such as TNT and Flint. Um, so if you use those, you'll actually automatically go into prison, uh, which isn't isn't a good look to begin with. We also have here just some tips for role playing, how to get into the different channels. So channel uh, forward slash channel OOC gets you into the out of character channel, so that's global. Uh, channel L gets you back into local channel, that's what you start off in default. And local channel is where we role play. So um, in OOC. That's fine. You can say, you know, obviously being sensible, but you can talk out of character. But once you're in local, you you have to be in um, in role play or RP, as we say. And uh, if you're not, we we do actually just uh, the admins will bring you back into line and make sure you're um make sure uh, who's that. Got a few people running around here. I'm just going to pretend, see how people treat me. See, this is really, like, this is what I love to see. They honestly don't know that I'm an admin and they're treating me really well. So um, this is a bit of a research experiment for me as well. When you come out of the church, you have the signs to the main docks, uh, the main docks and the main area of the city, quest board and all sorts of things. And then you have the guest quest this way. And I'm just going to read read that uh, for you all. So Malinxia is a, is a big place. So follow these directions to give yourself the best guided tour possible. You're currently in Lithereal, as I said before. Sites. So you've got the palace, which is just that big building up there. The ice arena, which is down there, and the sewer system. Uh, when you're done exploring, leave the city from the east gate and look on the back side of the house to your right. Do not forget these instructions or you won't find the next clue. And remember, clouds fly north. Um, 
Si tu la parla mi es americano Cuando se fa la mola sotto la luna Come te ven en cabe de I love you Papa l'americano So this is the gate. This is the east gate that was in the uh, guest quest. So I don't want to give you too many clues to how to finish the guest quest, but it did say the building to my right, and the guest quest was the next clue was behind that, and there's the uh, there's the sign. So. And up, ah, ta-da! Guests, congratulations on making it this far. We hope you enjoyed Lethereal, but your next destination will wow you even more. Continue along this road and follow the sign for Mel Terrace. You'll go through forests, over hills, along the shore, and you'll reach a dam. Swim down the back side of the dam and walk to the opposite end of the canyon. The next clue is behind a big tree. Don't forget, It's a house here, it's like government funded housing, but it's actually got a really nice atmosphere when everyone gets in. And uh, well, we built these actually really recently, this, this side. Over the other side is where we had the, the old, old slums. Now, the next part, if you're a guest, is you would continue doing the guest quest and that will take you around to all the different places. But what I'm going to do now to avoid this becoming too long is I'm going to tell everyone that I'm going to buy a citizenship. And that's actually... So at the moment, you've got a, a guest pass um, once your application is completed. Now, that's a free pass. Everyone everyone is welcome to get that. You know, and, and you can see there's a lot of fun you can have. You can go around, talk to people, check out the environment, but you can't destroy anything. You can't pick anything up. You can't make anything. Um, so it's all... It's all basically just walking around and looking. If you want citizenship, um, uh, that that costs because this is a pay-to-play server. That costs ten US dollars, um, and that goes towards the running costs of the server and the time the admins spend, um, you know, putting the server together. Um, once you pay for that, you actually can have full citizenship. So you get the slum house. You also get a vault, um, and. Yeah, you can start to build, uh, dig, collect items, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to exit, and when I come back, I will be a full citizen. So uh, I'm going to disconnect, and now when I come back, uh, I'll just wait a while because citizenship doesn't come through straight away because, you know, we have to process it. So if I become a citizen straight away, they'll uh, probably suspect something. Um, but yeah, I'll, because there's some admins on, it would have happened pretty quickly today, so I'll just wait a few minutes. So, so far that's the uh, that's the tour, and the next step is getting citizenship and 
becoming a full citizen of Malaysia, and I'll show you what you can do then. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yep, I'll I'll put up the next the next part of this tutorial as soon as I do it. Cheers. Papa,